Displacement is one of those things that actually contributes to the general look of the model. Certain models can do without displacement, but the idea that displacement exists on a surface changes how you see or perceive that surface. And today we're going to look at EVNext and displacement. We all know that EV is an amazing real-time rendering tool that offers a lot of flexibilities of how you get to render in real-time in Blender. And like we mentioned in previous videos, EV made its first debut in Blender 2.8. Now, with EV Next, it is quite interesting to see that things like displacement can now be achieved in real time compared to just relying on cycles to get that displacement to work. And for those who would like to take a look at this, probably you would like to try out EV Next, then you can go over to Blender.org, go over to download, go all the way down to download Experimental and download Blender 4.1 the Alpha. Currently, once you download this and you fire it up, you can go over to the edit button, go to preference, go to your interface, turn on developers extra, go to experimental and turn on EV next. Once you do that, click on the bugger menu, save your preference and restart Blender. So with Blender simply opened right here, how do we take advantage of the new displacement feature that now ships with EVNX? As much as every other feature that we've talked about in previous videos still exists, how you can do that is simple. So if we hit Shift and Tap A on the keyboard and we do a simple grid, what you can do is to go over to your surfacing, or in this case, we're just going to drag out a new panel and I'll switch this over to your shader. So with that, click on the new button to add a new shader. Let's preview this in the material section and we can drag in the textures that we want. So we're going to drag in our textures and currently this is going to be our base texture. So we're going to connect the base texture and this is basically what we have. Now, by default, once you're looking at this, it sort of looks flat. There's no depth to it. And this is where displacement plays a huge role. So if we go in and drag out the displacement texture, we can now drive the displacement. And this is as simple as typing in displacement and you get the displacement height and you can connect the color to the displacement and you can pipe this directly from the displacement over to the displacement. Now there's a lot of moving parts in terms of getting the adequate displacement that you want. And to sort of refine this, you can bring in a normal texture and connect that normal texture color to the normal map. So once you connect that, you now connect the normal map normal to the normal of the principal BSDF. And once you get this going, the next thing to do is to preview this in your final render. So by default, once you're looking at this, what you get is just this flat out bump like render because we are using Eevee. If you switch this to cycles and go all the way down to where you have your materials. So let's select this, go over to your materials, go all the way to settings, go all the way down. You can change the displacement type to displacement and bump. By simply changing this, you can now tell that we have displacement. So we can set this to 0.1 just to get the exact result that we want. Now, the beauty thing is unlike what we have with Eevee, which is just selecting Eevee and having this flat out texture, which of course there's no depth to, and just simply relying on cycles, especially if you like to render this particular thing in real time, you now can get this done in Eevee Next. So by simply switching to Eevee Next, you can see that we have that. So we can definitely go ahead and move this all around and you can see. So bump, displacement, all of that stuff, now available in EVNX. You can play with the scale however you want. And if you're trying to get even more details, you need to switch this and get your subdivision. So we've talked about this several on the channel. Your subdivision plays a huge role to how textures like displacement gets translated onto the surface that you're working on. Now, it is also safe to say that this works regardless of the displacement modifier that exists in Blender. So previously, displacement modifier was one of those ways that you get to drive your displacement, but currently you don't necessarily need to do that as all you need to do is get exactly the same cycles stuff that you have, just simply switch this to EV next and you can get the result. And for those that were asking about render qualities and render comparisons, here's a render comparison between EV next, cycles, and also EV. The same texture, the same material, the same lighting, and you can tell that the result is different. And like I mentioned in previous videos as well, EV next to me is more like the sweet spot between what you get with both EV and cycles. This is real time, has a good set of qualities that can just simply make things work faster and at the same time, you just have all of that flexibility of getting your job done without the hassle of waiting for cycles to get the rendering happening. Furthermore, I did take the liberty to test out a few of these textures that exist on textures.com, 
Polyheaven, Ambient CG, CC0 Domains, TextureCan, and also ShedTexture.com. All of these, the materials translate super nice. And for those who are thinking about checking them out, then you can definitely go over to the link in the description and see them for yourself. More so, I also tested out a few of the materials that you can get from Blender Market. So if you're working with Smartify, which is an add-on that we just talked about on the channel a few days back, you can definitely go to town with it. The Smartify materials and all of that stuff, they work 100% with EV Next. The Extreme PBR is also super nice. Currently, this one is doing a 25% off, and I think the Smartify is also doing a 10% off, and this is running to the 20th of October. So these you can get as well. Santos Library stuff is working, okay? So just in case you've been wondering, can I also use Santos Library in for EV? Because, you know, it's got a few cycles things Yes, this is working. You can go to town with it. Real-time materials looks really, really nice for those who like to check it out. The double gum stylized materials would also work, I believe. And the real-time material pack from Carstesin is also a good one. So this is it. For those who are into real-time rendering, probably you're looking for a real-time material, maybe some premium stuff that has been handcrafted, then you might want to consider checking these ones out, especially the ones that has coupon codes. You can go ahead and grab them. But then if you're looking for free ones, then you can go over to the texturecan.com where you can find a truckload of free stuff. And these are very high quality free stuff. So definitely get them. You can get from 1K all the way to 4K. CC0 does have its own as well. Ambient CG and Polyheaven. In fact, Polyheaven's one is so good because if you want to download this, you can literally just download the Blender file and run just that blender file and you don't need to do all of that settings that we just talked about so you can download these ones you can grab all of that and go to town with it so this is it tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section evnx is now available in blender 4.1 the alpha and hopefully this might be making its way to the final release of blender 4.1 tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and i'd like to see you guys in the next one peace